earthquake. An earthquake is also known as a quake, tremor, or tumbler. Earthquake is the result of a sudden release of energy in the Earth's crust that creates seismic waves. Types of earthquakes One, four shock. A four shock is an earthquake that occurs before a larger seismic event, the main shock, and is related to it in both time and space. The designation of an earthquake as foreshock, main shock or aftershock is only possible after the full sequence of events has happened. An aftershock is a smaller earthquake that occurs after a previous large earthquake in the same area of the main shock. If an aftershock is larger than the main shock, the aftershock is redesignated as the main shock and the original main shock is redesignated as a force shock. Aftershocks are formed as the crust around the displaced fault plane adjusts to the effects of the main shock. Three, blind thrust. A blind thrust earthquake occurs along a thrust fault that doesn't show signs on the earth's surface, hence the designation blind. Sometimes they are discovered as a byproduct of oil exploration, seismology. In other cases, their existence is not suspected. doublet. A pair of similarly sized earthquake shocks that occur relatively closely spaced in time and location as an earthquake doublet. Five, interplay earthquake. An interplay earthquake is an earthquake that occurs at the boundary between two tectonic plates. Six, intraplate earthquake. An intraplate earthquake occurs in the interior of a tectonic plate, whereas an interplate earthquake is one that occurs at a plate boundary. Seven mega thrust earthquake. Mega thrust earthquakes occur at a subduction zones at destructive plate boundaries, that is, convergent boundaries, where one tectonic plate is subducted, uh, that is, forced underneath by another. These interplate earthquakes are the planet's most powerful earthquakes. Eight, super shear earthquakes. A super shear earthquake is an earthquake in which the propagation of the rupture along the fault surface occurs at speeds in excess of the seismic shear wave velocity. Nine, tsunami earthquake. A tsunami earthquake triggers a tsunami of a magnitude that is very much larger than the magnitude of the earthquake as measured by shorter period 
seismic waves the term tsunami was introduced by hiru kanamori in 1972 earthquake swarms earthquake swarms are events where a local area experiences sequences of many earthquakes striking in a relatively short period of time 